Police are still on scene of this fatal shooting. Aiden Sides Chloe Sparks is joining us live with new information. Chloe, what's the update? Stacy, this is the Holiday Inn Hotel right across the street from USF, the Tampa campus. We just spoke with police officials who tell us that four people were shot here in the parking lot, and one of those people died here on the scene. The other three people are currently at the hospital. Now, police say they received a 911 call to McKinley and Fowler Avenue around 440 this morning. They say that they were told four people were shot again. Three of them transported to the hospitals, one dead on the scene. They believe that those three other people will survive. Now they're trying to find out what led up to the shooting. What was the motive? They're looking for video. They're looking for any surveillance cameras outside this hotel or maybe any guests that maybe saw or heard what happened. They're trying to interview any witnesses. We're told they actually are letting people into the hotel right now. They're all actually being escorted by police as this whole entire parking lot is blocked off with crime scene tape. Now we're told that these hotel guests should not feel like their safety is at risk because there are so many police officers out here. But again, they're out here trying to find out how many suspects they're looking for. And then again, to get that suspect or suspects in custody. They said that it seems like those people who were involved in this shooting were coming to this hotel to get a room. It's unclear whether they they were staying at this Holiday Inn. But again, four people shot in this parking lot behind me, three of those people injured, and one of them dead. We'll continue to work with police to find out more information this morning and report it back to you here on News Channel 8. Reporting 440 live. this morning, we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again, this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. Four people were shot in total as a result of this. Three of them were transported to hospitals, and one was pronounced deceased here on this.